if Ethereum breaks below $248 today or tomorrow, we are likely to see $156 to come. However, if we see a break above 300, we are likely to see a higher rush towards 340 and $400. If we see the $156, I'm more positive on it because from there onwards, since it is 161.8% true Fibonacci wave, I will be expecting more than $740 as the next target. It's complete upwards and bullish development from there onwards. Now, Bitcoin, on the other hand, aims, I believe, to, to target somewhere around $4,715 if we see a break below $5,780. Now, what is really causing all these things? Of course, seasonality is an impact. I'm right now in Cyprus. If you go, try to do somewhere out there, even small shops are shut down because they want to have vacation. And guess what? When you go for a vacation, unfortunately, nowadays, for the fact that these crazy bankers, when they took the gold standard away, they made everything rely on paper money. And they are still fighting not to accept cryptos. So since you cannot still accept or pay with your crypto all the time, you need to have those paper useless stuff that in order for you to buy your vacation. So people are selling their cryptos and buying these uh, useless papers, unfortunately. That's one reason. The second big reason is what is haunting the market, and that is the SEC's decision to postpone their so-called decision on ETFs. And here is a good news about it. There is not just one or two or three ETFs pending SEC approval. There are just as much as nine ETFs. And here is something, if and when, when is the important point here, these ETFs are going to be approved by the SEC, that's going to be an important bullish market development. There are just two more factors besides cryptocurrencies that I want to mention today, and these are emerging markets currencies, such as the Turkish Lira and the South African Rand. These currencies are literally tumbling and tumbling, and it's because of the strengthening US dollar and for Turkey's case, Donald Trump. If the Turkish Lira as an example keeps on going down, losing further value, depreciating further, we are likely to see some of the Turkish money moving towards not just to dollar or gold, but rather towards cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin. And if we do see that, we will see even further development on Bitcoin prices, further volatility and volume in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. That being said, I personally am expecting 7.28 as the target for Turkish Lira and for the South African Rand, I'm expecting 14.85 as the target for the, the Rand. That being said, this was Yagub Rahimov joining from A to Z markets and I'll see you tomorrow.